and I'm live. Okay. So welcome to my weekly 10 show. It's um, a difficult one today. Basically, um, I'm talking about um, where do men go, working class men go, when they need help from somebody? That's the question. And it's a, it's a question that's been um, brought up this week in different areas of my life. So basically, lying in bed a few nights ago, it was about 4 a.m. in the morning. The rain was pouring down on the window there. And I couldn't sleep. Basically, the thoughts going through my head at the time were focused on um, how would I do it? How, where, when would I do it? Would I leave a note for somebody? Um, what would that note say? I went through scenarios in my head about how I would do it. Would I do it at home? Would I do it in the park by where my mum and dad used to live? But then I thought, no, because the kids would find me. See, I've struggled with depression and suicidal thoughts all my life. And most people would never know this because the truth be known, I'm always joking around. I'm always messing around people. I'm always happy. And most people see that and don't realise that you do actually have um, stuff like that that you struggle with throughout your life. And I have dealt with that all my life. And um, it's become the norm. And it's not something that... Um, is a real big deal because I would never do it because I promised my mum that I would never do it. But it doesn't stop you having those thoughts. Um, and I know where it all comes from. It's lack of self-esteem. It's lack of confidence and self-belief. And I don't take praise and compliments very easily from people. In fact, it often puts me into a depression when people do praise me. Or a feeling of low, uh, feeling crap about yourself and stuff like that. So... You see, I, especially when my parents died or my family died, I packaged all my emotions up and I put them away in the cupboard in a, in a suitcase, buried them somewhere and left them there. And it's very difficult for me then to unpack that. It's actually extremely hard because when you've been through such trauma, when you've been through loss um, and heartbreak and things like that, it's difficult to then open up again and let let other people in or situations like that happen and so what happens is is you bury those emotions and every now and then you open up that case and you let that out but then something happens that makes you go and put that case back in the closet and luckily enough i'm um not only just a trained coach but i'm quite good with matters of the mind and even though i have thoughts like that every now and then um, I'm able to then deal with it in a constructive and productive way, which enables me to sort of put that sort of side of me away and deal with it in a positive way that actually helps me rather than hinders me and use it for something that's more advantageous, that moves me forward, helps me. But it, what, it, what it also um, brings to mind is the fact that there's so many different people out there, men particularly, in their 40s particularly, who struggle every single day with these kind of thoughts and feelings. And I was this brought to my attention this week um, when I've had two different clients, two different people come to me. And the thing that stuck out with them was the fact that they were normal guys, normal working class guys who had troubles. They'd got themselves into some sort of kind of rut. They were struggling themselves with... Again, self-esteem issues, self-confidence issues, very similar to what I've been through. And what it became apparent was that these guys um, didn't feel that they had anyone they could speak to. And the reason that was is because a lot of guys out there don't feel that they can open up to professionals. And when I mean professionals, I mean therapists, counsellors, coaches. And the reason that is, is because there's a stigma attached to these kind of people. Coaches as well. And the stigma is that these people tend to be wishy-washy sort of um, university educated, middle class sort of people who just sneer down at you, patronise you, talk to you like you're an idiot and don't really understand your background, the reasons, you, the, the lifestyle that you live and so on. So what that does, it puts people off. It puts normal everyday guys off speaking about their issues and their problems and their 
where they are in life and how and, and asking for help basically you see all this stuff in the media about real men talk about their feelings but it's not about talking about your feelings it's about who you're talking about your feelings to and a lot of people just don't feel they can open up to coaches professionals like that because of this stigma so it made me realize um that because of my background because of the situations that i've been through in life a lot of guys were coming to me because they felt they could trust me that they felt that they could open up to me without being judged without being patronized without being stigma with that stigma of me being some pc wishy-washy guy who um toes the line and speaks down to people from the working classes and that made me realize um, that there's a niche there. There's, there's an opportunity there for me to help particularly, specifically people who are from that background, who may be going through similar situations to what I've been through and continue to, continue to go through in a lot of ways. So it also made me realize that, uh, you know, it's similar to the situation I had when I was in prison in, in, in fact, I was, taught, I was mentoring young kids in a classroom in, in critical reasoning class. And a lot of these young kids were from gangs and uh, inner city estates and stuff like that. And they wouldn't open up to authority figures. Um, and I found that I had an aptitude to doing that. There's a story there. Basically, there was a guy. He's about six foot four. Um, he was lump. He was huge. And everyone was scared of him. And, and my, the teacher I was working for in the critical reasoning class said to me, listen, if you if he, if he don't start interacting with the class, we're going to have to kick him out. So basically, I said, give me a moment with him, see what I can do. So me being an idiot um, with a stupid sense of humour. And again, people have told me I act like a child and I do. But I'm not a child and I, I'm quite clever with it, really. And I actually went up to this guy and I said to him, whispered in his ear, what would you do if a Sherman tank came through that walk 400 mile per hour? And he laughed. And what it did is it got him coming out. It got him out of his, um, his head and it got him to um, I, I got him to trust me. He opened up and it turned out he wasn't this lunatic everyone thought he was. He was, he had a stammer and he was embarrassed about talking to the rest of the class. Simple as that. So after that, we broke that barrier down. He ended up talking to the rest of the class. He was fine. And it's very similar to the situation with um, men in their 40s nowadays who won't open up to certain people because they feel that they're going to be judged, patronised and all of that sort of stuff. Same as those kids from the inner city areas who won't open up to people because they feel that um, they're going to be judged, whatever. And it's exactly the same. So I'm now focusing on working particularly with men in their 40s who are from a certain background, who are going through some sort of... It doesn't have to be a trauma. It's just basically stuff that you're going through normally in life, which we all do. You might be doing too much gear. You might be going out getting pissed all the time. You might be stuck in a rut at work you might just want to change your life for the better it might be something like that it doesn't necessarily have to be the biggest trauma in the world like you're suicidal or anything like that because at the end of the day i'm a coach i don't help people who are suicidal that's therapy i help you become the best version of who you are right now working with what you are so i'm not interested in what's gone in your past i'm not interested it doesn't matter to me I'm interested in you now, who you are, and how I can help you move forward and create the life that you want to experience and choose now. And that's who I work with. So if you're a guy out there, and I know there's plenty, I know plenty personally, who are going through some sort of difficulty, really, and you're fed up, really. You're fed up not being able to open up, and, it's, and, and you feel embarrassed about it, perhaps. You might, you might not, you, you feel like you don't want to talk to someone because of the, the reasons I mentioned. They're going to patronise you, talk down to you, you know, or you've got that stigma, oh, it's, it's all wishy-washy, uh, you know, spiritual stuff. It's not. It's not. It's about learning how to use your mind to create your feelings and work for you. It's very simple, it's very basic, and it's common sense. So it's not some sort of wishy-washy stuff that goes on. And I'm certainly not Mr. PC, um, <laughs> talk down to people, patronise people. I understand the lifestyle that people have lived. Um, and I lived it myself. So I understand it. And that's why I get a lot of men coming to me who have got these problems or, or, or struggles or whatever you want to call it, who now look to, who want to create something better in their lives and really uh, move forward and start living a life that works for you. And I'm doing it as well, even though I've got the same troubles. You know, it, it, we're not perfect. Just because I'm a coach doesn't mean I've got no issues. I haven't got anything going on that I have to deal with. 
We all have. We're human beings. And it's part and parcel of life. Um, that we have these days where we're up and down and we're, you know, our emotions are not good and we have to deal with things. But it's learning how you can do it. And that's what I help people do. I help people learn how you can get your, out of your head and into the moment and start creating things from those situations rather than letting them consume you and drag you down and become destructive and, and turn your life upside down, basically. So if you're interested in learning how I can help you with that, then please get in touch because... I can help people like yourselves and it's particularly um, aimed at people from a working class sort of background who, who may not feel comfortable working with certain people in, in, in certain uh, environments. And, um, you know, I'm a normal guy. I'm, there's no bullshit with me. I talk normally to people and I will help you get yourself out of your situation and back into a situation which you want to be in. So if that's what you're interested in, get in touch. Uh, my website's going to be left in the comments up beneath. All you got to do is drop me a message and I'll get back to you. And um, yeah, that's all I need to say tonight. So have a great night and I'll talk, talk to you next week, hopefully. <laughs> See you soon.